Hey guys, how's it going? Hope you've been well here in the driveway with the Sequoia and Talon and his Tacoma and Frizzle, the fluffiest chicken in the world. Where is my hand? There it is. I'll show you her in a second. We're heading out on a little camping trip, super simple. Talon's truck is actually all dialed and has anything that I would need. So I just threw some random crap in the Sequoia and gonna take that out. No rooftop tent, no nothing. Actually just took out one of the back seats and have this, I mean, it'll be super comfy, honestly. And I'm gonna sleep in there. Alan's got some food, some steaks, oh, yeah. some other stuff. We got all kinds of snacks. We're gonna, we're gonna try to do it right. We're gonna do it right. Uh, we'll see. Kinda, we're gonna kinda do it right. Uh, but we're just gonna go on a quick 18 hour adventure ish and have a good time and take you along for the ride. So this is the first time I've taken the Sequoia on a trail since I've owned it. Probably the first time it's been on a trail in its whole life, honestly. So nothing too extreme, pretty basic trail, but it'll be fun. I don't think I'm gonna air down the tires or anything. We're just doing quick and easy, but Town's been waiting on me. So I'm not in a hurry. He's not in a hurry. I just microwaved a Taco Bell burrito. So I'm gonna eat that on the road and uh, I'll sync up with you probably later. Cool. case of daddy's money, daddy's Rough. money over here, versus I was an orphan. I was an orphan growing up. Just kidding. Unfortunately, neither of us have daddy's money. guys made it to the camp spot here I am in the back of the Sequoia this is where I'm gonna sleep and this trail is pretty crowded but we found a spot a random spot that actually kind of makes a really cool a really cool camp spot oh there are some mosquitoes though so I gotta watch out so here we go you ready for this this cool little transition here not like a not like a cool transition, but I'm gonna turn the camera around and that's the transition. <sighs> Not a bad little spot, huh? Got the slips on. Gonna need to put on some pants and a flannel here in a bit for these mosquitoes. So yeah, we got the back of the Sequoia. 
I'll go into that a little more later. But look at this, I mean, it is just, Colorado absolutely sucks. It's ugly. Should never move here probably. But yeah, this is a little spot. I've actually, I've camped right there. Right there was the first spot that I took Ashley and Isabella camping and they're gonna hate me for this maybe, but Ashley's super cool so she doesn't care. But they got some kind of food poisoning I think and they had to do some business right up in those trees there. And it was like their first camping trip with uh, a handful of my friends and they were so embarrassed and they, uh, I feel bad. But anyway, that was the first camp spot that I took Ashley and Isabella to. And that food poisoning put a real bad taste in Isabella's mouth and that's why it's been hard to get her camping again. But here's a spot just a little bit higher. We weren't able to make it here before because this was a big snow drift so we couldn't make it up this high. But this spot, gosh, it is beautiful. It is beautiful. So Sequoia made it up here no problem. The trail's not like hard at all. You could take a stock foreigner or Tacoma. We actually saw a couple stock foreigners up here, but it's uh it's at the limit of what a new driver would want to take a stock forerunner up, certainly. Uh, Talon's setting up his tent here. I think he's gonna do a little video of it, so I'll try not to get in his way. But basically, we got, we got pretty leveled here. Talon's got the tailgate and the table, so we'll be cooking out of that. Well, Talon probably, because I'm a slacker this trip. More on that later. But this, is my spot. We were like, we want to get leveled over here. So I'm straddling a big hole. This is like a three foot deep hole. It's kind of hard to tell on video, but this like drops three feet under and I just straddled the sides, uh, prop this tire up on some rocks and we are good to go. We've got those sick, nasty Instagram views out the back, so. Oh, I can't complain. So this is one of those opportune moments to add an Onyx waypoint out here so I can remember this spot to camp. And also, Talon and I are probably gonna explore some terrain and maps to see if we can get over to that area. We see some two track over there, but we don't know what trail it is, so we're gonna try and track that down. Uh, but for now, added this as a waypoint, scenic panoramic views, but it's nice because you can add photos. So these are some photos I just took of the spot so I can look back later and say, oh yeah, that was legendary. And then some notes here. So if it's two to three rigs, epic views, not much cover, probably windy. It is windy right now, but beautiful. You can probably hear the wind on the mic. So. Add a waypoint, share it with a friend, remember it later, come back to it. Uh, love this feature of Onyx. So yeah, again, Onyx, thanks for the support. And you can use code LLOD, lowercase, to save 20% off and start sharing waypoints with your friends. Sick. All right, so we are at 11,500 feet. If you look across, we can kind of see we're at about the level nearly of where tree line ends. Once it gets up here, there's just some small ones like these guys over here. The oxygen is so thin I can barely breathe. No, but if you came from some low state, you might get altitude sickness up here. But it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. It's one of those, it's one of those spots where we could just set up some chairs and just stare out, hold each other's hands, and just take in, take in the view. That's what we're doing. Um, Sorry to both of our Ashleys. I'm sure you'd both really enjoy this camp spot, but we'll bring you back here. We'll bring you back here later. Maybe, maybe. If you play your cards right. <laughs> Which by the way, Talon actually just, in his video we were talking about it, but I just announced on Instagram, so I'll announce it here on YouTube. 
Ashley's pregnant with my child. So due in January and it's a baby boy. So crazy excited about that. Big life change, obviously. So feel free to chime in down below with all your uh, young baby, newborn, little human tips, tricks, absolute best strollers, car seats, all that kind of stuff. I'll be nerding out on all that soon. Um, but yeah. Sweet. I may or may not have already bought you a baby gift today. Oh, dang. It's dope. <laughs> like, I saw it and I was like, that's kind of cool. Mike's going to love it. Talon says he already got me a baby gift. All my other friends better step up their game. So this is Talon's rear area. I told him he knew I was basically bringing nothing out here. So we are, oops, I'm in the wrong video mode, so this may be weird. Oh well, but we are basically gonna be hanging around his tailgate, cooking up some food. He brought some steaks and stuff that we'll be cooking up and just hanging out. What time is it actually? So it is 6.16, so we got a couple hours of daylight left and hanging out. I think there's a burn ban here even though the fire risk is so low at a spot like this and I'm so tempted to make a fire, definitely don't break the fire ban loss. Otherwise my house may burn down. So careful out there guys. While we're talking about apps, there's a little app I like to use. This is called Photo Pills. Uh, I use this for photography and stuff, but I use it for all kinds of stuff. And primarily this feature right down here, AR. So then you can track the sun's movement. I don't know if you can tell, but this shows that the sun is going to rise at 7 a.m. It's going to be coming right over that peak right there. So when you're trying to strategically plan your camping spots or if you want to be in the shade in the morning, it's a great app. Tracks it so you can see over there is where it is right now i don't know i don't know how well this is showing up but just wanted to share some of my secrets secrets and talon talon is going hard he was like i'm gonna bring everything man we're gonna show like all the gear that i could bring with me and yeah. don't always use but i was like i'm gonna take advantage of this trip by bringing absolutely nothing <laughs> since you're bringing everything so we got chairs, we got tables, we got it's all kinds of stuff. stuff truck, yeah, it's nice, cause this is Talon's like dedicated uh, camp rig. So kind of like my Tacoma, you just leave it, it's ready to go. You just hop in and go, which is the way to do it. Sorry, I keep on just, I don't think you'll complain about seeing these views a bunch, right? It's a nice little lake down there. It's nice. Real nice guys. Got those like epic clouds too. Colorado always has pretty good clouds for the most part. Oh, all right. I'm gonna sit down, take a break, soak it in, have a drink. Town was talking about it in his video. I've talked about it before, but one of the nice things about having Diamondback is you can keep all this stuff in and now I have to worry about it. Go to a movie, go to the store, whatever. It's raining, snowing. Who cares? Because it's all good. So that's one of the main reasons I like it. Because it makes my life easy. So we got some stacks, some seasoning. That's a cool little set of tongs. Amazon, baby. Amazon tongs. Like 10 bucks, titanium. Damn, dang, dang, what are they called? Boundless Voyage. <laughs> I'll link to them down below. I wonder where those came from. Country of origin. Those are uh, from America. <laughs> yeah, USA. <laughs> so you got some butter. The smell of just like boiling butter <laughs> is so good. BTW Talon, he said, 
when any one of his videos hits 2,500 likes, he's gonna pick a random commenter and give him some, some swag. It's like this jacket maybe could be yours if you comment on the video linked in the upper left corner. Right, wait, which I always get turned around when I'm behind the camera up here. This video of mine, I think, is gonna go live like at least one, maybe two weeks after Talon's because I have a couple other videos that I need to make. So, his video is definitely out right now. So, that's the link for it. Um, I'm gonna hang out. We got some, we got all kinds of goodies over here though. Oh yeah. Got some, got some teriyak, beef jerk. Talon likes the stuff that's like eating leather, he says. Just give him a, yeah. Old dehydrated piece of cardboard. We should ask the question. question. We asked about the bacon question before. Yeah, soggy versus... Whatever it is. Yeah, okay, so in this video, we're asking, do you like your beef jerky like extra tender? Like just like, mm, like kind of like comes apart? Or do you like it, like you gotta work at it? Like you really gotta like, right? Yeah, like hard, smoked, salty, yeah. chewy. Talon is on the like hard, I am on the tender one. So that's what, we're, that's what we're asking. While we're at it, applesauce, cinnamon or no cinnamon? I'm a cinnamon guy. Cold or not cold. I like applesauce cold. cold like yeah, see, I have sensitive teeth. So when the applesauce is like straight out of the refrigerator, it's like, oh, it's little, my little teeth, just a little too sensitive. Lots of questions. Hoping to see lots of comments in this video. And then obviously, we got this one sounded good. Belgian Chalky. Mm. This is the size specialty here. Steak and tates. But there's more. But there's more. Shrimp skewers. Shrimp skewers! <laughs> Surf and turf up in here. Jason's not here, so Talon's stepping in. Talon is stepping in. Not trying to compete, Jason. Yes, he is. Just trying to live our best lives. What's that one reel? A master at work. <laughs> <laughs> Sun's going right behind. Look at those rays. Look at that majesticness. Excuse me for just being in awe of the creation of the planet here. Speaking of, we'll probably talk about aliens tonight. Oh yeah. Because we always do. It's magical. Not too bad. It's good when it's just in like a soup of butter. It's when you know it's going to be good. <laughs> it's, it's definitely going to be good because of the butter. Bon appetit! I'm so worthless this trip, I didn't even bring silverware, man. I was gonna bring my camping bin, and I pride myself in always keeping just like fast food, forks and knives and spoons in my glove boxes of my vehicles. And apparently, every glove box except the Sequoia. So I gotta do that when I get home. It's like a, it's like a painting. It's like a painting here. Oh, that's this is like a painting. This is like a, a old Greek sculpture chiseled out of marble. Yeah. All right, we're here. Wrapping up, had some excellent dinner. Might have some, some dessert applesauce. I don't know. <laughs> Got a bunch of Pop-Tarts actually. S'more Pop-Tarts. S'more Pop-Tarts. Gotta break those out. Oh yeah, this is another question. Important question for you guys. S'more Pop-Tarts or brown sugar cinnamon or what's another popular one? Just like that, strawberry. Yeah, the OG strawberry. That Just was the straws. What do you prefer? I am a cinnamon brown sugar kind of guy. Love it. Talon, I think you're a s'mores. I mean, I as a kid, we always had brown sugar for whatever reason. They're good. I like them now, but I was always a strawberry guy. Strawberry. Now, 
I'm a s'more guy. S'more guy? Yeah, so Talon had the, the right idea. Since we're not going to make actual s'mores out here, we may just bust out some s'more Pop-Tarts and have a little s'mores action before bed. But it's uh, getting a little later. We're kind of winding down, talking about the mysteries of the universe and whatnot. Actually, we haven't even really got that into Aliens yet. We'll probably, yet. probably get a little deeper into Aliens now. Uh, just playing with flashlights and watching the sun set and the clouds roll by. The planes fly overhead. Now we got some mood, mood lighting set up. So Talon's got his uh, lantern. Which model is that again? It's a Claymore Saline, 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 something like that. Claymore South Korean company makes awesome lights. I have a bunch of their products as well. I've been testing out some cheap Amazon lanterns over here. Maybe I'll show you later, but I set them up strategically to light up these little pine trees give like you know some some mood lighting around the camp so it's kind of nice kind of a nice little hangout and then we're planning on getting up early and exploring some taking this trail a little further i want to see if we can get across the valley over there and then probably snap some photos for the gram made a reel well i didn't make it yet but <laughs> it's filmed filmed <laughs> talent filmed it for me it's a good one go check out my instagram for it it's about pop tarts as well. All right, gonna gonna shut the camera off now. See ya. Well, good morning. Not a bad spot to wake up. Uh, slept nice in the car. There was some gusts of wind that I was unaffected by, but I kind of heard them. Uh, so I got in just through the door over here, right into bed. Uh, the one kind of bad thing about the Sequoia is there's no way to open the rear hatch from the inside. So you gotta go out and open it from the back. But no big deal. This pad's super comfy. Uh, I kind of talk about this whole setup in a recent Sequoia video I did, so if you want more info, I'll link that up here if I remember, but you can check it out on my channel. Ooh, I got those, I got those sleepy morning eyes. Here's the view though. Got a little dear friend visiting the camp. How's it going? Back home now. It's actually, it's actually a couple days later, and I am scatterbrained. Uh, just getting ready to start building my house. Actually, I know it's been a long time, a lot of delays, but I'm kind of finalizing an order for lumber and trusses and stuff like that. And realizing, as always, a bunch of little things are wrong. So I'm trying to figure that out with my engineers and lumber supplier. And anyway, if I seem scatterbrained, it's because I am. But needed to do an outro for the video today, actually, because Ashley is about to load up into the Sequoia. She's going camping for a few days with her mom and brother and Isabella. And I usually don't go on this. Actually, you're going to yell at me. I don't have my wedding ring on. Oops. Uh, I, <laughs> she's not actually going to yell at me, if you're wondering. Uh, so I don't go on that trip because I, I don't really... I don't think I would enjoy it. And she doesn't think I would enjoy it. But 
the reason for the sequoia, part of the reason, sorry, I'm kind of spinning around a lot. One of the main reasons, if you remember the video when I got the sequoia, was for her to take to the lake because she loads it up with so much stuff. I get her loaded up with the Dometic and battery and solar and everything and she's out there for a few days. Just kind of living out of it. She sets up a ground tent we have. Maybe I'll show you the loadout if I have time to fill it before, film it before she leaves. But she was just way overloading the RAV and it had a hard time making it out of the sand on the beach with how weighed down it was and everything. So I'm hoping the Sequoia gets her out of there no problem and she's able to load it all up. She puts stuff on the racks and everything. So she brings like four paddle boards, tents, fridge, battery, cooler, clothes, toys, snacks, food for a handful of days. Plus she loads up all the seats. So I actually have the backpack, the third row seats taken out because she's only taken four people. So she's gonna load this all up with all of her stuff. So. I'll see if I remember to film that. But I'm gonna walk you through just real quick what I had. So if you guys been watching stuff, I've been using this to try and get Maple used to the car. So I have it all set up with like the dog hammock thing, little door guards. Uh, they've actually been jumping up in here and even though Maple could like jump onto the roof of this car if she wanted to, she's like super timid jumping into cars. So her and Atrey both like kind of have destroyed this thing, actually ripped this giant hole out that I'm actually siliconed and hopefully that'll at least maintain some shape. But I grabbed a piece of marine carpet that I just fold out when they jump in to try and protect this little thing and then kind of fold it back in here. So I'd have that just kind of wedged under the seat there. Not that you really care about that, but if you're wondering like, what's this random piece of carpet doing here? And then paper towels for Maple's puke. But in the last three weeks, she's actually only puked one time in our drive. So I think she's getting accustomed to the Sequoia at least because she gets to stick her head out the window and she really likes that. She still drools like crazy, but Maybe there's hope. I'm gonna keep at it. I'm gonna keep at it. So anyway, the Sequoia, easy, simple build. Don't need much to go out camping and visit some beautiful spots. Uh, if you're wondering about the Sequoia, I think I said this earlier in the video, but again, I scatterbrained and that was a few days ago. But I did a whole video on this. You can find it in the corner up here. Talking about everything. So all I brought really was uh, a sleeping bag, which I already took out. This is on my camera gear. My camera gear actually splurged, got this crazy tripod. So you saw in the video, I actually set up some tripod shots. And the reason I never do that is, well, I don't like to do it because it's more work to set up, but I usually never bring a tripod. But this tripod fits right in here. So then I can boop, bring the tripod with me. So that's why I got that camera gear. Yeah. And so this is the Vertex um, contingency duffel 45 liter. Did a whole video on this freaking, this has just become my everything all the time. Use it for everything. Duffel bag. Love, 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 love this bag. Um, and what I threw in here was just some extra stuff to show you all I would need to bring and all I was planning on bringing. Well, we got two double double pop tarty flavors. I made a little reel on Instagram with that one. But basically all I was gonna bring was a jet boil, some water, and a couple mountain houses to eat. And that was it. So basically everything I needed to camp was gonna be right in here in this bag, you know, clothes and toiletries and all that stuff. But that was it. Talon said he was bringing the whole kitchen sink so he was gonna cook for us. So I didn't end up bringing or using the mountain house. but. That's what my, what my plan was. And so I was only gonna bring what fit in the duffel bag, just to show you guys you don't need much. Now, do I like going out into Tacoma, loaded up with all the gear anyone could ever want? Yeah, I still like that. Sorry, this is getting ready to pack for Ashley. But I never wanna dissuade people from getting out there and having an adventure. So I just wanted to show kind of how easy it was. and. This is how easy it is right here. You don't even need that stuff. Don't film, take, detracts from the fun. That's all you need. 
and then, yeah, up here there's not really anything else to talk about because I've talked about it all. So nothing, nothing new. Just got some Lifesaver mints, windshield cover, and that's it, guys. But man, just love this Sequoia. This was like the perfect trip for it. A trail that wasn't too hard. Like the a stock Sequoia could have made it on this trail. It wouldn't, you know, it it pushed the limits of a stock Sequoia, but it would have made it just fine. And this with a little lift and bigger tires was perfect. Sleeping inside was perfect. Granted, I do love rooftop tents. Don't get me wrong. But yeah, just wanted to show you a simple, simple, basic setup. I actually filmed hardly at all i went one of my buddies philip with the second gen tundra and the gfc wanted to see my property but also wanted to camp and i couldn't really camp i didn't have enough time because i had this thing the next morning i filmed a tiny little bit of it but that's with the tundra and the iCamper x cover 2.0 on it i'm pointing because it's in here in the garage so i filmed a tiny bit probably not enough to make a good video with that but i could throw it together if you want me to so let me know down below if you want me to i show the property uh i show basically the footers poured some of the foundation walls being set up talk about the shipping containers a little bit i don't know it'll be a pretty lame video i think but let me know if you want me to just edit that and throw it up just because uh cool i think that's it i think that's where i'm going to end the video unless i decide to slice splice in some bonus footage of kind of me getting Ashley ready, but that'll just show a bunch of gear in there. I don't know. Thank you for watching the video. Thumbs up, comment down below. Look forward to uh, seeing you and chatting with you in the next one. And then yeah, still fire off what questions you want me to answer about the homestead house build. And I'm gonna throw all that into an upcoming video. All right, take care. All right, so here we have it all loaded up for Ashley's little family camping trip. She takes her mom and brother and Isabella and goes out there with some family friends out to a lake in Nebraska, I think. And I don't know how she would ever fit even half of this stuff in a RAV, but got the Prince who loaded up with four paddle boards and a uh, big gazelle hub tent over here. So it could probably fit a little bit more on the rack, but that's what we have up there. I really like these uh, perfect bungee tie downs. And then these are the front runner snatchets. So I just put four across to kind of cinch all that stuff down. They're really easy to use. So Ashley or her mom will be able to put all that stuff back up there. I usually kind of tie things down crazy when I do it myself, but I uh, wanted to keep it kind of simple so it's easy to do again. And the back is full. Uh, so there's a Goal Zero back here, solar panel, Dometic fridge, a bunch of water. This is like an inflatable <laughs> trampoline or something because uh, they camp on the beach at the lake. A bunch of different inflatable stuff for the lake, sleeping gear, chairs. This is just filled with uh, more food and drinks and they got to stuff a couple more things in here. Got a little Claymore fan to keep the pregnant wife cooled down. So the Dometic while we drive, well not we drive because I'm actually not going, the cigarette lighter is going to plug into this power source. So it's just going to run off the car and then she'll plug it into the goal zero, hook the goal zero up to solar. In the meantime, last night I had it plugged into an extension cord here. So just keeping things frozen. And that's about it. You excited? Yeah. I, uh, Hope the wheels don't fall off on you or anything like that. No, I actually uh, checked and retorqued a bunch of this stuff, so you should be good. You should be good. So, after its maiden voyage onto a trail with me, it goes on its maiden voyage road trip with Ashley. So, Isabel's looking forward to it.
don't mind our don't mind our mess of a house <laughs> and then they're gonna bring some DVDs to use in the little DVD player up here with the little wireless headphones so sweet <laughs>